Hey everybody. Gosh, it seems like forever since I've made a video, especially one for a mini album. But uh, that's what I have for you today. It's not that I haven't been crafting. I've been doing some card making and some ATC swaps. There's so much stuff out there that you can get involved in. Um, just check out your paper pantry and see what kind of groups there are that you can um, that you can join. Uh, the ATC swaps. There's uh, collage stuff. There's all kind of stuff. It's really interesting, so I'm going to be doing some more of that. But today I got a um, mini album for you that I've been promising y'all I was working on. I really, really was. It just took me a while. This is different for me. This is different style of paper, different style of crafting. Um, but I fell in love with the paper when I saw it, and I grabbed it. So this is what I came up with um, from it, and I just wanted to share it with you. This is from the Dear Lizzie line from American Crafts. The cover is the adhesive back fabric paper. The polka dot part in this part is also from another piece of the adhesive back paper. It is just the grass and the picket fence I cut out to put behind these flowers. And I crocheted these flowers and then put some um, of the chipboard pieces in for their centers and hand cut these leaves and inked them a little bit on the edges with some peel paint. This is just one of those dollar um, uh, chipboards from Michaels. Um, this is one of the dollar bling words from the dollar bin there. This banner was cut out from the paper. Then I used my Cricut um, storybook cartridge to cut out spring and glued those letters on each of the flags on the banner and then I went over them with some stickles. I've got a few um, ribbons on here and then a little bee charm. So that's the cover. This first page is just a simple pocket page with a tag in it. Um, most of the tags are done with um, just plain either basil paper or some of the coordinations cardstock paper. Um, this is a chipboard piece from the collection and a sticker. I did a little faux stitching around there and did some punch out um, edging here with a Martha Stewart punch. On this page, I used the cuddle bug embossing folder, Swiss dot folder to do this tag, and then I sanded it with my Tim Holtz sanding block. Put some um, buttons with some embroidery floss on there, and I used some embroidery floss to go around the edge and just sew a little, um, few little stitches on there on the paper before I actually glued it down to the chipboard. This piece was cut out from the designer paper. Um, I covered it in triple thick. I think I did at least two layers, maybe three. It's popped up on some pop dots so that the tag can, can slide back there behind that. For the next page, I have some faux stitching with my white gel pen. It's another one of the chipboard accent pieces. Some little tags I made um, from some of the designer paper uh, in the collection and ran it through the swirls, cuddle bug, and blossom folder. This is a sticker from the collection, some of the designer paper I cut out and um, made a pocket with. These flowers were cut out with my cuddle bug. They're layered. There's a chipboard layer and then the two layers of the flower. Um, I can't remember which cartridge that was from. But anyway, I cut out some um, leaves by hand and put there with the flowers for that page. For this page, the little bird was also cut out uh, with my Cricut. I believe this is the home decor cartridge and the branch I think comes from the home accent cartridge. Just made a simple little tag with one of the stickers from the collection. The way to know life is to love many things. Uh, made all the tags really, really simple. I didn't do much stamping in this album at all. Um, these flowers were also cut out with my Cricut and I took some embroidery floss and wrapped it around the flowers just to give them a little um, dimension and some bling to the middle, cut the leaves out by hand. I did a little inking around this page. I didn't use a whole lot of ink in this album either. It's very simple and it's very, um, like I said, very different from what I usually do. This page, I used the embroidery floss to go around the whole piece of paper that I had cut out to cover the chipboard and then I added some bling and a little detailing with the white gel pen. Here's a chipboard piece from the collection and a sticker. 
This is some of the designer paper that I cut out and glued on top of this um, cardstock to make this little photo mat fold out. You can put pictures on the pages or journal, whatever you care to do. This stamp and this stamp came from Steph in the last little goodie swap we did. I just clear embossed those um, for a little added extra in there. That's just a little photo mat page. For this one, I did the faux stitching. This is one of the dollar um, bling pieces from Michaels, one of the stickers from the collection. I ran this tag through the cuddle bug Swiss dot folder and I had this little pink uh, paper clip from Michaels also. This is a piece of um, just plain cardstock that I edged with a Martha Stewart punch and I made it wide enough to this ribbon would fit on here. This ribbon came from the collection too. I just love this ribbon. It is so pretty. And um, I just glued that on top of there for the pocket. For this page, I used another piece of the adhesive back paper from the collection and glued it onto a piece of brown um, paper that came in the collection. Made a um, little yellow bow with my bow easy and glued it on there. This is just a photo mat uh, pull out. It has a piece of one of the chipboard pieces from the collection and some bling and a little faux stitching on it. It's just a piece of the designer paper and you can put photos on there or journaling. On the background of the piece of paper that I put on here I used that same stamp I had in that last little booklet and clear embossed it and then reheated the embossing powder and sprinkled some glitter on it just for a little added dimension just slide that in there this last page um, put some bling around the edge and some um, faux stitching with my gel pen again this flower on the front of the book is a piece of the adhesive back paper I peeled it off of the adhesive backing so that it was just the fabric part and it's basically one of the twisted flowers that everybody is, has been making. It's um, actually came out pretty decent because I'm not very good at, at doing these twisty things. I don't know if I do them too tight or, or what but they don't seem to come out very well. But this one came out pretty decent and I put a, a clear button with some embroidery gloss spread through it um, in the center. Did some hand cut leaves on there. This is a sticker from the collection. There's a piece of the designer paper I cut out and glued on top of this uh, coordination cord cardstock. This is just a piece of jute that um, I tied around here. What I basically did was when I made the booklet, I put the pages together, I punched holes in the center, and ran the jute around it twice. Then I ran one piece of the leftover around the back and the other around the front to use it for a tie to keep it closed. Um, I've made these where they are tag pockets, but I don't have any tags made for them yet. But when I do make them, they'll be pretty much like the other tags in the album, just made with the plain card stock and some ribbon through the, the hole. But that's just for photos or journaling. And then the back is another piece of the adhesive back paper. I cut that part out. I thought that little little birdhouse with the flowers and stuff was so cute so I just put that across the center of the back the little dots around with my um, gel pen and and signed it but that basically is the mini album I made with that collection like I said it's not my usual style it, it's plain it's totally different colors for me but I had fun making this um, I do have to say the next time I make one though I'm probably going to go back to my usual vintage shabby chic. It was just more comfortable for me to, to come up with ideas for, for that type of album. But I hope you like this and um, leave me a comment if you have any questions about anything I did in here. I'll be glad to do a, a tutorial or tell you how I did it, whichever is the easiest. I don't mind answering questions. Uh, so leave me a comment. But I want to take a second to also tell you all about a new paper crafting challenge blog that's out there. My friend Christina and her friend Beth are setting up a new um, challenge blog called Paper Star Challenge Blog and I'll put the information for that website up on the, the screen but go check them out. It's not just for cards, it can be layouts, it can be any kind of art. Just, just go read it. They tell you what they're looking for and 